mga bayan, this is again Pinay Hula Hooper sa USA. Again, this is Pinay Hula Hooper sa USA. So if this is your first time in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button or the bell icon so you'll be updated with my upcoming videos. And uh, I would like to shout out kay Jonabel at saka kay Jopal TV. And and for as um, I'm going to show you the brand nung uh, nung lasagna na ginagamit ko sa paggawa ng aking mini garden or however you call that uh, that type of mini garden and then at the top of it merong uh, meron siyang maliit na clothes pin wherein you can put there or you can clip there anything you want just like receipt or reminders for your family or even pictures or or but what i'm doing is that i'm clipping there the bible passages or just whatever you want to do just giving you an idea anyway the po ang wrap namin And then, nasa baba po yung freezer niya. And I'm going to show you. Buksan po natin yung freezer. Let's open the freezer. And, actually, we are eating two bags of lasagna. But I like this better because I'm using the container for our stuff like that. Actually, iniipon ko lang siya. Iniipon, iniipon. I don't know what to do with those. So, then, my husband was telling me, um, am I going to keep this? Are you going to use this? So, just keep it. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. I don't have any idea until, um, until I come up with that idea to make, uh, like, this garden with memo clip. So, here... Yan box po natin siya. So uh but first I need to heat up the oven so it should be ready. So it says It says there that 350 uh, yeah, 350 Fahrenheit cook for 48 minutes. So is it set po natin ng oven? So, bake and 350 and while waiting for that mm -hmm. so while waiting for that yeah unbox ko na po itong uh, lasagna so there are two of these one for me and one for my husband this is our dinner so ganito po dito puro box lang ang dinner but once in a while nagluluto po ako ng pancit and since pretty much like for eating we're eating rice only once in a blue moon or i would say once every two weeks so sanay na po ako doon but before i feel sick whenever uh i feel sick for say for a week di ako makakain ng rice pero oh, now it's no longer a big deal for me like i can stand a, a month without eating rice so ito po siya ito po naman niya and then i need to stuff this in the tray Uh huh. Ayan po. And then these boxes. I'm going to put this in the recycle. So we have two trash trash cans here or bins. One for recyclable, and the other one for non-recyclable. 
So, dyan lang siya. And when it's already stuffed up, I'm going to put that in the bin, yung nilalabas namin. Then, kukunin siya ng dump truck. And, just wait. So, while waiting for the lasagna, so it takes 48 minutes, I'm going to uh, do the initial part of this project. And, um, so, Jopal TV and Jonabel, pasensya na kayo, pero alam ko matagal na kayo nagpapashoutout sa akin, but I don't know when I'm going to post this video. I'm sorry about that, but um, eventually I'm going to post this. In a way, dun na po. So this is it. I have plenty of stocks in my of this in the cabinet. And then ito po um just put water. So we're going to make somewhat like a paper mache and so I'm just going to show you these are what we are getting from the mailbox and I'm also using this to uh when I'm doing the painting, so I'm stuffing the here the a piece of paper. Yung pinapaint ko po siya ng acrylic, and then um yeah, that's pinapatong ko po dito. So hindi po as uh, ako na irapan maglinis ng counter top. So this is it. So I have already used that twice. So I'm going to rip it off. Um, uh, it's been it's pretty much like paper mache. I'm going to crumple this. The reason I'm doing this is that it's because I'm using Play-Doh. So, it takes so, so much of the Play-Doh. Kung, uh, kung it takes so much of the Play-Doh to stuff this container. So, ito na lang. And the paper is free. <laughs> it's no cost at all while I'm buying the Play-Doh. <laughs> It's not that expensive, but I want to save as much as I can, of course, for this piece of art. Anyway, ayan po. Ah, so th this is my glue. And then, I'm going to dip this in the glue. And then, ito po. I'm just going to put this here. Didikit na po siya. Uh, almost one week po bago pa to yung into so I don't know when I'm going to post this then crumple it dip in the water dip in the glue and put here so ayan po So, ganyan lang po. So, ito, this is the third part. I got here a piece of popsicle stick. And then, this is already stuffed. Look, you have to fill it up, this up. Sik sik siya. And then, one more time, I'm going to put a piece of paper uh, just to tighten the this piece of popsicle stick here inside so I guess I'm going to put here as much as I can I'm going to put it in the middle but I cannot do that it depends on the uh, where I can find the uh, hollow part of this so my hollow should on so then I'm going to stuff this here And put glue. That's it. And I wait for a few days, as much as one week, to dry this up before I can use this.
So, ito na po. Our next step is to mag-paint na po ako ng papers na gagamitin ko, ng mga ipapunch ko para gawing roses, mga flowers po. So, ito pong gagamitin ko, calligraphy paper. So, this is strong enough para po siya uh, pintahan and then hindi po siya mapupunit and uh, strong enough to quill. And ito po siya. So, the first thing I would do is I'm going to wet my brush. Ito. Multi-purpose po ito. <laughs> Kahit saan po ito pwede. So, kaya hindi ko po tinatapon itong lasanya container. So, the first color that I'm going to use is yun pong lighter color which is silver. Ito po a acrylic paint. And then the second one I'm going to use is the darker color, which is orange. Para po pag magkaroon ng residue, hindi po siya ganun ka obvious if ever. But I'm going to brush, uh, to clean my brush after, after using. So, ito na po siya. So, I'm just going to put some on the paper. Ayan na po siya. And then, I'm just going to paint it. Nahihirapan po ako kasi I need to hold this tripod at the same time. I need to paint. Umuurong po yung paper ko. <laughs> So, dinadagan ko na lang po yung isang paanang tripod para po hindi siya uurong. And, I need to put some more. So, I bought this acrylic paint in Walmart for 50 cent each bottle. Pero, uh, yung ano po, uh, parang mas mahal yun, parang $150 or $2 po pagkakabili ko sa glitters. At saka yung mga neon, mas mahal po siya kasi yung presyo din po siya ng yung neon, magka-presyo po siya ng glittered. Pero po yung mga ordinary colors like yung orange ko po, ayan, 50 cent lang po yan sa Walmart. Kikita nyo na po, nagiging glittery na po siya. So, next ko na po itong orange. Ayun, nakapuha ko ng tamang angulo. So. So, ito po, uh, nakalimutan ko lang. Ito po yung, this is the clothes pin. Then, I'm going to stick it here. Dito po, pag ganyan, pabaligtad siya. So, uh, 
I can stick the memo here or whatever I want, like Bible verses, recibo, ng bill, dito po. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm going to match the color, color orange. So, pipintahan ko na po siya. Po. And I have here the tray. But, uh, earlier, I didn't use the tray kasi uh, sayang lang. Pwede ko naman siyang spread out dun sa papel. Pero ngayon, uh, konti lang po kailangan ko. So, I'm going to uh, use the tray. Dito po. And I have to be very careful na malaglag kasi meron po akong pinatuto yung kulay blue na pinintahan ko po. So, I should not spoil it. I just need this to dry. Mm -hmm. So, hindi ko na pa siya kering hawakan, so bibitawan ko na po siya. Ay, siguro. Pintahan ko muna yung loob nito. Then, bago ko siya ilapag, and paint the rest of this clothes pin. Okay na siya. So, eto po. Ayan. At ayan po yung sa susunod kong project. So, tapos ko na po siyang pintahan back to back. Ito po. Glitter and orange. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, make flower shapes. This one. Yung aking paper punchers. So, ipapunch ko po siya para magkaroon ako ng mga flower shapes. Ito po siya. So, um, tapos na po akong pintahan back to back yung calligraph paper po siya. So, next thing I'm going to do is to uh, make flower shapes by using my punch paper. So, ito pong aking punch paper. So, inopen ko na po yung plastic niya. Yung pinaka-cover. So, ito po. So, I'm going to show you. And then, yes. So, ito na po siya. Yung mga na-punch ko. Ito na po. Nakita nyo butas-butas. Uh, but then, sayang na pan po yung mga natitirang papel sa gilid-gilid. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make shapes, smaller shapes out of this leftover by using smaller punch papers. Like, uh, siguro ang gagamitin ko, itong Ito pong shape na to. So, saan ko po yung cover niya? 
Bu So, ganito po siya. So, guys, this paper punch, so, uh, meron pa pong natitirang edges dyan na sayang naman. Eh, I'm going to make ships out of this. Yung mga natitira pa dyan sa gilid-gilid. But this won't fit anymore. So, I have smaller punch paper. Ito po. So, gugupitin ko na naman siya. Paliit ng paliit. Paliit ng paliit ang mundo. Yan po. Yan, malalaglag na. So, parang, yeah, isa lang ang kasya. Isa lang po magagawa ko dyan. Pali, oh, this is the smaller version of this, pang pinakamalaki. And, ito po yung smaller size niya. And then, para hindi mo sayang, I'm going to use this smaller, even uh, thinner shape. Para hindi naman po masayang yung natitirang papel. Ayan po. Pero hindi ko po kakayanin dyan. I have to put this on the surface. Saka i-punch. So, dito po. Ayan po. And then, press. <sighs> so, ganito na po siya. So, next na po natin ipapunch ang orange. And now, I'm going to cut a uh, different shape of the flower. And I've already painted. Ginamit ko na po ito. So, uh, uh, kakat ko na lang po siya. Since this is the one I'm going to use. Ayan po. Kaya gusto ko talaga naka-open yung cover niya. To maximize the paper. And then, since wala na pong, hindi na po kasha for another, another cutting of the shape. So, I'm going to use a smaller, like, a smaller shape para naman po hindi sayang. So, again, I prefer to use this shape again. I guess this is very popular to me. And then, gugupitin ko na naman po siya. And then, the next smaller shape I'm going to use is, is the pong tulip. So, ilalagay ko lang po siya dyan. Saka, ipipress ko siya ng palad ko. So, naman hindi sayang. Yung tulip. At pag besagapal siya, pwede ko na siyang punitin po. Wala nang pakilabang yun. Then, cut again. And I'll try my best na pagkasyahin ko yung shape na to. Oh. Pag nagkamali po akong ganito, ah, oh. Itatapon ko na lang po siya. Sayang. But it's okay.
po. So, this is the moment we're waiting for on how to make the roses. So, tapos na po tayo sa pots and then paper mache. And, so, these are the shapes na nakat ko na using the paper punchers. And, I'll take the orange and the whites. I know that's the whites. I mean, the glitter, the glittered whites. Parang glitters niya may pagkang silver green. So, I'm going to show you how to cut. So, this is my quilling scissor. Uh, this is kind of expensive. $20 in Walmart. So, I have to be very careful of this. So, open ko na po siya by pulling this. So, from here... Cut ko po siya ng konti and I'm going to make a hole in the middle. So, it takes four of this to make one rose. So, to make the garden or bouquet beautiful, I'm going to make different styles using two colors. So, to puro orange lang yung petals niya. And soon, to, tuturuan ko po kayo paano mag-mix ng color. Uh, and then, ganito po siya. Uh, ganito ko po siya i-glue. Para hindi siya magkadikit. Uh, para hindi siya magluko-luko. Oh, ang hirap niya. I guess tumigas na siya kasi I wasn't been using this for a very long time. So, ito medyo dagit na ang glue ko. Mm, hindi pa ako magasos. This is only... Oh, one of my makeup container, I'm keeping them. So, here ko talaga sa recycle. And then, just a very bit of glue. And then, ito po. So, I'm going to put a uh, bit of glue. A teach. And then, ganito nyo po siya ididikit. So, ayan po. Hindi nyo po siya ididikit ng paganyan. So, ibabaw. So, idikit nyo po yung ila. Ito po. Yan. Paano ba yan? Ito po yung glue. Ito po yung ilalim. Ito po yung ilalim. Pag ganyan po. See? Yan. Pag nag-glue po kayo, so, i-glue nyo po yung ibabaw. Then... Ididikit niyo po yung ilalim niya, yung susunod. So, pangatlo ko na pa. Pangatlo ko na po yan. And then, now, igaglue ko na naman siya. Sa ibabaw, then, here, ididikit ko ang ilalim niya. And then, I'm going to leave this for drying. Medyo mahaba-haba itong video to. So, but it's worth it. Napakaganda naman po. So, this next step is that I'm going to teach you how to mix up these colors to make variety of styles. So, flower number one. Isinulat ko po siya para hindi tayo malilito. So, orange inside. Orange inside. So, dilagay ko na po siya yung orange on top. Para hindi ako malilito. Mm -hmm. oh, pero, oh wait. Unahin kong idikit yung white. Unahin ko idikit po yung white. 
So, nakikita nyo po. Ito po ang tandaan po natin. Flower number one. Orange inside. Okay. So, dinikit ko po siya sa ibabaw. And then, I'm going to stick this at the bottom. And then, on top. And this is at the bottom. So, ang una ko pong ikikwil later ay orange. Para po, yung orange po, pumaloob po sa bulaklak. So, ito. So, last na. Ilalas ko na po yung orange. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you use the orange first or not. Yan, naglipo na. But the thing is that uunahin nyo pong equal. Kung gusto nyo po yung color na yung nasa loob po ng bulaklak, yun po yung uunahin yung equal. So, mamaya po. Oh, natanggal siya. Ito ang nakakainis eh. <laughs> Pag natatanggal. Okay. And I'm going to leave this for drying. So, flower number two, alternate color. So, katulad po ng sinabi ko, uh, yung pong nasa loob, yun pong ikikwil natin. So, but here, it doesn't matter kung ano pong unahin yung idikit. So, basta po alternate siya. So, alternate color. Siguro unahin ko yung orange. Muna. Parang ang hirap idikit ng silver. Bottom. Put the glue at the bottom. And stick the... Ah, uh, sorry. Put the glue on top. And then stick the bottom. And then, yung silver naman. And then... Tapos na silver. Orange naman. Ang hirap ng idikit ng silver. Anyway. Ayan. And I'm going to leave that for drying. So, flower number three. White otter. So, it doesn't matter kung anong unahin ko. Basta po, yung white na niya ay nasa dulo or yung different ko I guess the concept is that it doesn't matter or whatever color you're going to stick first basta po yung color na nasa inner or outer it has to be outside or at the end dito po tayo magkakatalo magkakaiba so flower number 4 Uh, flower number 4 so ang gagawin ko po yung uh, yung orange po nasa inner siya but nasa inner siya pero sa loob lang po ng bulaklak so ayan po basta po nasa pangalawang dulo siya Siguro ang gagawin ko, kailangan kong dumihin ang glue sa silver kasi ang um, hirap nyo idikit, natatanggal. Pasobra yata ang dami. Okay lang yan. So, nakadalawang silver na po ako. And then yung orange naman. And then, white sa dulo. And we're just going to leave this for drying.
So next up, we're going to teach you how to uh, how to make the second flower, the smaller one. So, uh, ito na po siya, yung red, and then uh, gagamitan ko po siya ng black sa ilalim. So, baga, ito po sa ibabaw yung red, tapos ito po sa ilalim. Uh, this is actually my construction paper so when I was starting and ma meron po talaga mga punch papers na nabibili but I'm running out of that and as much as I can ayoko na pong bumili sa Amazon <laughs> I'm trying to save on as much as I can so uh, yun, yun po ang naisip ko mag bumili na lang ako ng acrylic page 50 cent each at saka yung yung um, tawag dito yung calligraph paper and the advantage of that is that hindi po naiipon na naiipon yung mga hindi nyo gustong kulay in bawa yung black katulad nyan wala ko alam paggamitan so hindi po siya naiipon so you're just going to paint according to what you need and stamp cut according to what you need okay so ito po Kung ito pong black ang nasa ilalim at ito pong red ang nasa ibabaw. So, gagamitan ko po siya ng twilling tool para i-curl po paloob itong red. Ikita nyo po. Ayan. And then, ilagay nyo po ito dito sa gitna and then, Ido your forefinger at the back and then it curl you push up. Book curl, 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 yun po. And then, maglalagay na po ako ng glue dito, whichever side. Tapos, ilalagay ko na po ito dito. Dapat po naka-alternate siya. Para hindi po magkaroon ng siwang. Maganda po siya tingnan. Dapat naka-alternate. Kita niyo po. Ayan. So, ganun po gagawin natin. Curl. So, bibilisan ko na po. Curl. Mabilis lang siya. Glue. And put it on top. And it has to be alternate. So, to, uh, to eliminate the spaces. Ayan po. So, I need to wait for this shade to be totally dry, I mean, really, really dry. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm um, going to finish first or do first this or a secondary flower or secondary shape while waiting for the, the rose to be totally dried up. So, ito po muna kasi mas madali po itong matuyo. I'm going to use this quilling scissor to cut hole. See? Ito po. Uh-huh. dahan lang po. And I'm going to push this. And my forefinger is at the back. Konti lang po. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut this piece of wire. Pusha, roll of wire. So, 
sometimes tinatansya ko lang po siya but I guess I found a way na uh, to na uh, ma measure ko po siya so each of them will going to have a uniform length so ito pang quilling scissor dulo dulo so ayan po yan then gupitin natin So, lima po hinanda ko. So, lima rin po ang gugupitin ko. Saan ba yung dulo? Hindi ko makita. But anyway, <laughs> hindi ko makita yung dulo. Ah. Okay lang. And, ito po yung beach na to. Actually, wala akong mapaggamitan sa kanya. Kasi ganito po ang shiva. Normally, I'm using uh, yung bilog po. Pero maganda po siya kasi uh, this whole tighter sa flowers ko. So, it has a tiny hole. It has a tiny hole. Papasok ko po siya. And I'm trying my best to put this at the top middle. Ayan po. And it twist ko. siya. And then, ipapasok ko po siya doon sa butas. So, before I reach the end, lalagyan ko po siya ng glue dito. Yan, para kumapit. And to make this even tighter, I'm going to wrap it with crepe paper. So this roll of crepe paper, I will even cut this into three. po. Pero meron po po ako na pipira dito. I have a leftover. So I'd better use this first. And as much as I can, I'm using all my resources para hindi ako bilhin ng bilhin. Tsaka sayang. Ito po. Start from the top. And then roll. Then just rip it off. And 
So I guess the rose petals are totally dry, so I'm ready to quill it or to roll it. So flower number one is orange inside. So nakikita niyo po. Yung orange po nasa dulo. So if I said the orange is inside, yun po ang una kong, yun po ang ikikwil kong, um, umpisahan kong ikikwil. Ito po. So there's a little slit here sa akin quilling tool and I'm going to insert it inside and then hold it very very tight press that uh, the quilling tool the metal part of the quilling tool against your forefinger and then using your thumb using your thumb uh, roll it hard po so, doll ko na po. Tapos, ito pong aking forefinger. This is still under the metal. So, you're going to control your rolling. Para po hindi siya, para hindi po siya maalis. Ayan. And then, roll it, roll it. Roll it. And then, once in a while, put the glue. Dito may po yun siya ilalagay sa uh, gilid ng buta sa gitna po. Then keep on rolling. Ay, natanggal siya. Siguro nga ang hirap nitong silver. Gawan ko na lang siya ng paraan po. Just keep on rolling. Dikit ko na lang. And then, glue the middle. The middle, the edge of the hole. Tapos, ito pong last petal niya. Ito, yung nasa dulo. Yung dulong petal po. Lagyan niyo po siya ng glue inside. And then, stick it. And gently take out the quilling tool using your forefinger and your middle finger put it in the middle and then pull it with your other hand and 
make sure po na there's the tiny hole hindi po siya sarado make sure na may butas po siya nakikita nyo po yung yung dulo so sigurado po kailangan butas siya kasi po lalagyan po natin yun ng wire at saka ng bead and then flower number 2 alternate color ito po siya alternate color nasaan ba yun so I guess I'm going to put the orange inside first. So if if the orange is inner, I have to fill that first. Again, there's a small, very tiny slit inside, and then push it there and press it with your finger, with your forefinger, and twist it hard. Okay, keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Blue, So, ito po siya. So, para po, mag-bloom po ng konti yung flower nyo bago nyo siya idikit yung dulo. So, equal nyo po siya ng konti pabalik. Ito po. So, equal ko po siya pabalik. Pabalik. Maglulus po siya ng konti. Maglulus siya ng konti. Ayan. And then, pull it. Pwede nyo na pong Dulo. So, ayan na po. So, number three, white otter. So, sa labas po yung white niya. Ito po. Kung sa labas yung white, so, unahin ko na naman po yung orange, yung, yung other color. If you want if the, oh, your choice of color to be out, so, yung, uh, so, quill the other end. Ito po. So, white author, flower number three. So, unahin ko po yung kabilang dulo. So, the next thing to do is that we're going to put the stem on the roses. I already cut the wire. And maglalagay po tayo ng beads. That's this, so, this serves as a stopper sa roses. Mamatch po natin yung color ng beads sa color ng roses. Kailangan po magkontra siya. 
contrasting po kailangan ng kulay. So, say, unahin ko po ito. So, I can use, ito pong, uh, yung gitna po niya is white. So, gagamitin ko po siya ng blue, ng dark color against white color, light color, para contrasting siya. And same thing po, ito, nilagay ko sa dulo, then, ganyan. Same thing lang po ng ginawa natin. Ayan. As I said po, kailangan mag-iwan po tayo ng butas. Kailangan po siguratong butas yan. Kasi minsan pag nagkikul, nagsasarado po yan pag hindi nyo na malayan. Then, pasok ko na po dito. From here, from the top, down. And then, lalagyan ko po siya ng glue. Dito. Lagyan ko ng glue. And then pull it, pull and press. And let's put glue here. Just then. And the crepe paper. Then, then keep on the same thing as what we did on the uh, so po, same thing as we did. So next is orange. Ano po kaya magandang kulay ka konta siguro? Green. So I was able to uh, to figure out how to make my uh, art blogging better. So I use my husband's tripod at nakakabit po din ang cellphone and um, afraid that I have to make my blog mostly in English so my American friends would understand. So this is this will going to be the next step. Uh, so these are already done as you see finish na siya so three of this I'm going to make a variety uh, I only use two colors as you see but I make but I made variety of styles which you have seen in the uh, video earlier so the wires wrap with crepe paper I'm going to twist them twist and po Tapos, then, lagyan niyo po siya ng style. So, hindi lang po siya, ayan. So, it's not coming off anymore. And, I have here the Play-Doh. I'm just going to 
or get just a little piece of the play-doh and then yung glue ko po, it's running out I'm going to dip the play-doh on the glue Yeah. And this is it. Lagyan ko lang, I'm going to smear the wire with a bit of glue and then I'm going to stick this in the on the play doh. That's it. And then I'm going since I have the uh, play doh there. I'm going to do this part first before the rest of it. Yan po. Kuha na naman ako. Depende. So, dalawa. This time, dalawa muna. Unahin ka siguro yung harapan. So, it's already covered almost the the front of my pot ay nakalimutan ko siya ng bagay ng glue and you see these are big flowers but there are like uh, little spaces here so what I'm what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the smaller flower smear it with glue and I'm going to find a space a small space wherein I can stick this on and push push and another one glue and then here you see there's a little space here so I'm going to push this again then po push oh make sure that's it and then another two of this wire medyo mahaba haba po siya this a little bit long so I have to twist this po clay the play doh I mean and then push push it and there's a little space here you see but I guess I'm running out of glue so I'm going to refill my jar with glue When you are doing the paper mache, you can mix water, but, but um, when you are working with the flowers already in the play-doh mm, uh, and the punch papers, you need to use the pure glue. Then this, I'm going to smooth this with glue again. Then you see my maliit pushing space. You can see the underneath the green 
play though so i'm going to like injecting <laughs> I'm going to inject this sweet flower, if you want to call it that way. And one more. The idea is to cover the underneath. Just stuff it with flour. Yan po. And I still have left over. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use them. And okay, I'm working on this part for the time being. I I forgot to uh, put glue. Mm -hmm. Just more. So I have to use two at a time. I guess this one I have to put this at the edge, major. It's a bit slanting. Sometimes if you commit errors, you have to be creative. And push again. Push. So my roses have already run out. I need to do some more. But for these pieces, I'm going to stuff them with these smaller flowers. Pang bakpak ko po yan. And this is, this is it for the time being. And I need to make some more.